Welcome to the very first episode of Supercharged Science. I'm your host, Eric, and this is our co-host, Jack. Our 1,000 horsepower Mustang that's gonna help us answer your questions we hear all the time. One of those is, what is the difference between a bypass valve and a blow-off valve? And the second most popular question is, what do they sound like? Well, Jack here now has five different valves hooked up to it, and we're gonna sample each one of their sounds as well as show you how they operate, and then at the end, operate them all at the exact same time. So follow along. And some of you are probably like, why the lab coat? And I gotta be honest, I didn't need to wear this, but it's just kind of a little nod to our friend Cletus McFarlane, who's been doing some awesome motorsports science-related videos, and he's a great dude. He loves spreading that information all over the internet about as much as us here at ProCharger love spreading boost all over the world. So with that being said, I'm taking it off because it's hot. And let's dive into the setup we got here. Now, Jack here has had its P1X Stage 2 kit installed since 2018. Yes, this car has been all over the country. It makes a ton of horsepower. And I used it for this test because, frankly, it's super easy to get the bumper off. And the tubing was right here where I needed it. Normally, the bypass valve that would come in the kit is located right here behind the bumper below the headlight. So all I did for this test is changed the discharge tubing so that now it comes out, goes up here, blows through the tube before it goes back down and returns itself into the intercooler. Now, if you've got ADD like I do, you're probably looking at this and going, why does he have loops on these? Well, currently I have these looped because that actually locks these valves down in place. The pressure can't go anywhere. It can't open or close. So that's what we got going. So that way we can start everything with the ProFlow unit on the end that is currently hooked up. This thing flows like none other. When this linkage pulls that, throttle blade wide open, the air can just rush out of here and it doesn't have to change directions like any other valve. It is a straight through shot just like the throttle body on your car. The other thing it does really cool is it can be both a bypass or a blow off valve. And the difference is if it's set up like this where you're running down the road and it just blows off the boost to the open atmosphere, that is a blow off valve. A bypass valve is if we stuck a tube on this and we routed that tube to the front side of the supercharger. That would be bypassing the air. So you're recycling the air and then compressing it again. So that is the difference between a bypass and a blow off. Here's two other bypass valves that Procharger makes. This is a bullet bypass valve and this is a race valve in the recirculating configuration. These don't really have a place to be used anymore. The only reason you would use these is if you had a draw through mass air meter. So if you had a factory computer and you're measuring the air way before the supercharger, you would have to account for that air and always keep it in the system by bypassing it. You would not be able to blow it off. So again, that's kind of rare. So we're not really gonna talk about it anymore. Let's get to start making some sweet sounds. To start off the sound testing, I'm gonna lower the hood. That way we try to minimize as much engine noise as possible to really focus on the sounds that the valves are making. We're gonna run this ProFlow valve first in the configuration wide open, venting to atmosphere, just like a normal blow off valve. Then we're gonna add the filter muffler, which does cut down the sound a little bit. We'll move on to the bullet valve, bet any money it's got a little bit more of a whooshy whistle noise to it. And then we'll go with the tried and true race valve. Almost everyone on the internet has heard someone doing a big whoosha with one of these bad boys. And then after that, we're gonna do all three of them at the same time and hopefully not blow the mic stand right out of the way. So let's do this.
That was so rad to hear the differences between the three street valves. So I'm gonna finish blocking off these so these can no longer function. This one's locked down as well. And now we'll jump to the full blown racing valves. Again, a valve like this is used if you make like 2000 to 2500 horsepower and you just need one valve. Saves weight, saves hassle, things like that. This unit here is actually used when you make up to like 4,000 horsepower and normally you'd have two of these on there. Now the thing is, is I'm gonna show you, I can't just free rev these valves. They will not function like the street valves. They, they will not have enough time to come and close. These are meant to be on motors that are moving a lot more air than this car is. So I'm gonna do a quick free rev and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. You're, you barely are gonna see the valves react at all. Then we're gonna switch to doing a dyno pull. So I'm gonna do a loaded pull on each valve individually and then both valves together. So let me do some free revs and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That was so rad to hear five different valves on the same car. I don't think anybody on the internet has ever done that. And that is rare to be a first these days. But if you guys want to know more about these other than just the sounds, please reach out to our technicians and they can tell you the specifics of which one of these or a pair would be best for your combination. So that's it. Visit us at ProCharger.com, otherwise we will see you in the next one.